what's up guys it's your girl dedicated diva and i just i felt like coming to you guys on this work at home chat basically telling you the importance of cover letters now everyone knows that you fill out the application and they may ask for a resume and every now and then you see a feel for you know if you want to put down any other or if you want to upload any other document and most of the time on all work at home um job applications or any application they will give you that feel where you can put your cover letter in there and a lot of people actually don't think that cover letters you know are important but they are especially if you have did things in the past or you know you basically had some type of accolades in the past you want to put that on your cover letter now please make sure you guys like share and subscribe and you can comment down below if you want you know me to talk about a certain thing or you want to get started talking on this topic fine by me i'm always in my comments and yeah let's get straight into it now one thing that a cover letter does is it helps you to show your skills and experience now on a resume you basically have down where you work for how long and what you did there and basically you have to get straight to the point a cover letter just allows you to sort of expand now i would say it's easily you know it's kind of easy to go online to look up templates um if you're going through google you can look up cover letter templates and you will kind of see how everything should be worded and also on a cover letter take your time now i know when i very first made my cover letter i made it geared toward customer service that's what i love doing now i worked in sales every now and then but customer service was my thing so if you want to gear it toward a certain thing you know that's what you can do but just pay attention to where you may be looking for um, a customer service position but you may come across something like a tech support position um, or a sales position make sure you change that up on your covers letter before you send it so they won't just think you just sending out the same thing to everybody and you also want to keep adjusting your cover letter and change the you know change the name of the company or the person that you're sending it to because you want to make it seem like you're personalizing it straight toward them um let's see i'm looking down my notes that i have here you want to cover how your experience or how your past experience meet the job requirements um that you are applying for now in other words what have you done in the past you know that will make you a perfect fit for the position that you are applying for um why do you want to work for the company just think of things like that and in a cover letter you want to speak as if you basically know that you're in there you basically know that you have the skills to get you that position you want to show your problem solving skills um you want them to know that no matter what pops up what kind of problem comes up you will be able to solve it you want to tell them your experience you don't want to be long-winded but you want to throw out all accomplishments that you have made um while you have worked it don't have to be all work at home experience it don't have to be all brick and mortar but just everything that you want them to know and at the end of your cover letter you want to end with a call of action you want to let them know that you look forward to speaking with them you know about the position that's just basically it and it seems like every job where i've did that at the end basically I will tell them, you know, I look forward to speaking with you um, more about this position or I want to thank you for interviewing, you know, I want to thank you for considering me 
anything that you want to put on that cover letter that's your time but you want to basically make it seem like that you know that this is the position for you like you're going to get it so yeah i just wanted to make this very short video because people don't know how important a cover letter is until you know they're in that interview and the interviewer is asking them so many questions one reason why when some people are in interviews and they get asked so many questions because you had no cover letter or you had some things on your resume and it seems like it was some points in time that you didn't work or you didn't make it clear on your resume that's what your cover letter is for to clear up some of those things so you won't feel like you know if you get that get to that interview phase it won't make it seem like you know you're stumbling over your words or you don't know what to say so use that cover letter as basically your life story if you have any gaps in your employment history you want to put why on that cover letter you don't want to go into this long drawn out you know violin playing thing but you want to let them know um but yeah so i won't go on a rant talking about cover letters but it is a great thing to have a cover letter um i'll try to put in the comments below i pin it in the comments below and i will let you guys know um just some sites that you guys can go to if you are looking for any type of template and if you go and you go to a site that has a template please just do not copy what's on that template word for word a template is to help you out a template is not to go word for word as if you wrote the whole thing so yeah i love you guys i'll see you guys on the next work at home chat and please make sure you like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time